This is DP News, and it starts now. Welcome back, DP, to DP News. This is Josh Conheim reporting, and I'm here to bring to you a recap of everything that happened at Charger Check-In and Freshman Orientation. So let's get right into it. Charger Check-In this year was just about the same as every other year, but rather than having me explain what happened at Charger Check-In, why don't I have some of the students explain it? Uh, I got... I filled out a Google Doc and then got this checklist. Had people stamp everything after I did the requests that they had. And then I got my schedule. Not only was everything that Travis was describing happening, but there was also many tables up around the school that Chargers were able to check out. There was the athletics table and tables of different programs offered at DP at the top of the stairs of the EPAC which included the Charger account and the image with the yearbook. There was also the athletics table, and senior shirts were being sold right outside the cafeteria. So, what's been your guys' favorite part of Charger check-in? Which shoe? Probably getting schedules. Uh, getting this, this fire shirt. Getting awesome shirts. After the seniors, the juniors, and the sophomores went and did the exact same thing at Charger check-in, but after it was done, it was time for Friday, where all the incoming freshmen came in and had their orientation. Well... Um, I saw a lot of my friends, and then we went into um, the gym to be welcomed, and then I got volunteered. To, um, well, I didn't. I didn't get volunteered. I vo I volunteered to shoot the half court shot, and now here we are. Uh, well, not completely, but next that happened was uh, well. After that, went to the theater, went back, got. These classes. In addition to asking the current freshmen what they thought about freshman orientation, we also checked in with past freshmen to see what they remembered. I remember going into the gym and they had like, they had the skits and the kid made the free, the free throw and got the yeah. gold card. Like, it was cool. And it's, it's cool to be like, have a different perspective on it this year. Thank you. Yeah. Last night, our girls flag football team played against Bishop Diego at our home field. Leading off the Charger offense, freshman QB Hannah Remick threw four touchdown passes for more than 100 yards. The defense was led by Taylor Grant, who opened the game with an interception return for a touchdown. Later in the game, Grant would add a second interception. Sophia Pixley also added an interception to pace the defense. But Bishop Diego wasn't ready for Brooklyn Hedricks, who caught three touchdown passes and two extra point attempts for over 85 yards on the day. Later, Lily Rodriguez also threw for a touchdown pass to help the Charger offense. Ruby Streetfield and Hannah Kaminsky each added a receiving touchdown on the day. It was a great win for the girls' first game of the season, with the final score being 39-0. This has been Natalie Zabinden for DP News. Last night, our 2 and one Dos Pueblos Chargers took on the St. Joseph Knights in a competitive game but brought out the brooms and swept them three sets to zero. Setter Halley really put on once again another impressive performance with five kills, 21 assists, and five aces. Our Chargers destroyed them from the service line, racking up 14 aces as a team to help lead them through this game. Addie Lowe also led the front row with seven kills, and with help from senior Jaden Jones, who kept the energy up all game, our Chargers were able to come out with the W. Reporting for DP News, I'm Jude Cotty. Come <laughs> on.